So I just pulled up to the place that I was planning to go, but I did not expect this to be like, this is my chill spot. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be everybody's chill spot. Let me, let me show you what I mean. I came for this beautiful lake, right? But everybody wants to chill here, I guess. I mean, really cool. Technically, I guess I'm in their spot. This is their house, right? Look at this guy, oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'm still like in the van. I ain't going out there. Do you hear him? I'm telling you, everyone is out today. Oh, you're so large. Ooh. Hey y'all, I am currently on the road. But I want to get a new set of van window covers made, so I'm going to be doing that today with the help of my sewing machine that I don't know how to use and my Goal Zero 1000 Yeti Core Power Station, exclusively on Amazon, by the way. So this is new, new to me, new to the market. Well, this is this is new too, but the main star is this because that ain't going to work without this. So I have made. Let me let me bring you closer, actually, because it's windy and. I'm gonna try and block some of the wind, but we're outside, so I can only do so much. Anyways, this is this is weird. <laughs> Just <laughs> okay. So now that I'm situated, this is going to be the third set of window covers that I make. The first being the OG set for the van. The second was for the Honda Civic, and this will be the third set overall. But the second set for the van specifically. The two that I made previously made each of those a little bit different and then this one's going to be a tad different than those. So therefore I'm going to tell you how I make them in case you want to make them yourself. First though check out my view. Hey ain't that nice? And there's no one else here right now. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the inside of the van. Sorry don't mind the mess. This is what the window covers look like from the inside. This is what they always look like, at least mine. Um, the difference right now where I need to finish them off being on the outside, they're just silver, which is the original material, Reflectix, but I don't, I don't really like the way that looks. So as opposed to these that I currently have in the windows, with the first two that I made, I covered the outside with black fabric. And I hadn't done that with these so far because I was just being lazy and then I was like, eh, I don't know if it's really like necessary or whatever but turns out I like that a lot better uh, just for like stealth purposes I have had no trouble with these even when they're up whether it be in the middle of nowhere the city whatever nobody said anything bothered me whatever so it's not really for anything like that I choose personally not to tint my windows I just I just don't want to so I'm not gonna um, but so yeah today I'm just gonna be putting black fabric on those the difference between the three being how I adhere the fabric to the Reflectix, which is this material. Okay, I didn't find a rock, but I, I found a stick. Oh, here comes people. This is always awkward. I look ridiculous. All right, I don't know where I left off because lots of things are happening right now, but the first set of window covers that I made for the van, I used spray adhesive because I don't know how to sew, and I figured it would just be faster and easier, which it was. However, leaving them up in the windows I'm distracted by a really pretty bug. You have you have to see. I don't know, this is hard for me to see. Controlling the phone. There it be though. I am shaking like crazy. So yeah, when I would leave the window covers in the van because of the sun and the heat and everything, even when it wasn't super hot, like in the winter, the adhesive that I put on would off gas and it would kind of give me a headache like you could totally smell it so I was like nah this has got to go therefore when I made the ones for the Honda I decided to sell them like I said earlier I think a couple times I don't know how to sew so that was kind of like well I don't blah, blah, blah. I could have taken them to a seamstress or something but you know I don't know that's just not I was like I could I could figure it out so I hand sewed the ones for the Honda they turned out fine albeit like not very pretty and the stitching wasn't straight or whatever but if I keep looking over there it's because that bug keeps like flying around and then landing back in that spot and I'm like oh you're so nice what's up like I was saying no problems with the ones for the Honda since I sewed the fabric on that worked great so I decided when well when I decided to make a new set for the van I was like okay cool just sew them on However, the van's windows are way bigger and longer and there's more compared to the Honda and it took me eight hours worth of hand sewing for for the Honda split over like a couple days I didn't just like do eight hours of sewing but my hand hurt and I did not want to do that again so that's why this time I bought a sewing machine even though I don't know how to use it I'm about to YouTube a video real quick and and figure it out <laughs> so I'm going to 
yeah, essentially it's just Reflectix with black fabric on that is sewn. Okay? All right, let's, let's go do that. Okay, so for me right now, first, I gotta figure out how to set up the sewing machine. Kind of played around with it a little bit before, but I still gotta watch the YouTube video to like really do this. So I've got YouTube pulled up and I couldn't have planned this any better because I did not plan this, but my laptop is about to die. I'm on uh, 13%, therefore, thank you Google Zero that you got all kinds of plugs because I'm about to use this to charge my laptop while I figure this out. Let me give you a quick overview of the Yeti 1000 core. So as the name suggests, it is a 1000 watt hour lithium battery. There's two AC ports over here. It's always nice when there's more than one. You've got a 1200 watt inverter with a 2400 watt surge protection, which is awesome. In the middle, you've got your USB-A right here, which is just your regular USB type of port. Then you've got your USB-C. There is a power delivery one, which is just a faster charging option. And then you've got your regulated 12 volt, which is gonna be really nice for when I get a fridge because a regulated 12 volt is what I'm gonna need. Then you've got your screen also in the middle here. Sorry, I haven't taken my sticker off. I'm not normally that person, but for right now I am. So you can hit info. It'll show you everything you need. Turn the light button to turn it off. And then over here, units, you can switch it from amps to watts to watt hours to volts. And then it just goes back to amps. So It'll show you the percent charged and then your input and output as well. I don't have anything plugged into this. I was just doing that to show you guys. So on the bottom of this device, there are some rubber feet. I really like that feature so that the whole device itself isn't just sitting when I take it outside. It's not just sitting on the ground. It is made to be stackable. So those rubber feet go in right here. So this is flat, which is also kind of cool. Then this opens up, it uh, houses the chargers and everything. And then you can put them, plug them in here to charge it if you want. And there's a little space back here for like a seamless charging experience so that you can plug it in and then put it out the back there. So this device has been great for camping slash vehicle dwelling. I believe it can also run a CPAP machine as well if that's something that you need to utilize. And then some potential other uses include taking it to a job site, tailgating, or even at home as an emergency power setup slash generator. For instance, during Alaska 2021, this, this would have been ideal. So I'll leave a link in the description below in case you want to check it out. In order to charge it, you've got a port right here where your input is that you can hook up to that. And then it's just a regular AC plug so you can charge it via the wall or I also have the Boulder 200 briefcase, which is a 200 watt solar panel. Subtle detail, but they put words down here at the bottom. I mean, it just says what it is, but the fact that it's words at all, I actually really like that because then it is easy for me to remember which orientation this needs to unfold and stand when I set it up. There is a handle on it. And then in the back, the way that it stands, is there are these legs that prop it up and then there's the charging where you can connect it to use that to charge the actual Yeti core. Ooh, look. A ladybug came to visit. Can you see him? So once my solar panel is folded up, it has this casing that I can store it in and then it has zippers on both of the sides. That way the handle is still accessible. Make a U-turn and back up. Wait, again, again. Wait, did I do it right? And then oh, oh, yes. Oh, boy. Come on, get in there. Oh. I need somebody to drive by so I can ask them if they know how to set up a sewing machine. Dude, the hole is right there. You're like, you're in it. You're in it. Go through the eye. Go through the eye. All right, stop the films. I did it. I, oh, I better not move. I'm gonna get too excited and it's gonna come out. Okay, so to start, how to get the material to be the right size and shape for the windows, and then two, how do they stay in the windows and not fall out? So me personally, I just, the reflectix comes in a big roll, so I just open it up and guesstimate and start cutting away, and then I'll try and stuff it in the windows and just trim it as need be until it's a decent fit. And then once it gets close to the size it needs to be, I'll take a Sharpie and kind of line around it so that I can tell where to cut it to make it fit just right. If you're making these for your vehicle, you can use a template, you can take measurements, you know, whatever you want to do. This is just how I've done it thus far and it seems to work out okay. Now for getting them to stay in the windows. Again, if you want to, you can use maybe magnets, Velcro, anything like that. 
me i don't use any of that i they literally just pop out and in order to put them in i just stuff them in there get them to be nice and snug and then they stay <laughs> all right now i'm gonna set up a workstation my workstation is gonna be my crash pad which is for rock climbing hi plane all right why are you so difficult there we go okay <laughs> here we are the sewing setup so not quite ready for this yet um, I as I showed you the first step if sorry again wind was cutting your window covers to the size of the windows that you need I've done that I've trimmed them up they are perfect so now I've got my fabric I've got more fabric in here and I just need to cut the fabric to the shape of the window covers and then I can sew them on these scissors these are amazing for cutting stuff like cardboard, reflectix. They just go right through it as if it's like, you know when you have regular scissors and you're cutting wrapping paper or something? It's like that, but for thicker materials. So those are great. The first time I made window covers, the fabric I used was felt. I don't remember why I used that. I think it was just, I don't know. I just was like, sure, yeah, this. And that seemed to fade a lot in the sun. Like it changed the color pretty, it was pretty apparent. And for the Honda, I used like a cotton blend. That, over time, didn't seem to fade, so I went with cotton again, and that's what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna spread this out, cut the shapes to my window covers, and then get to sewing. cover with my sewing machine I mean it ain't great but it ain't all that bad either so now I'm just gonna trim this up a bit and we're gonna test fit it to see and make sure that I'm not doing like wasting my time here all right black on this side reflectives on this side Beautiful fit, beautiful fit. So let me take you around the front. And, oh, there she is, dude. Yes, so much better. Look at that. Oh, I'm so proud. And that didn't even take me that long, considering I'm using a sewing machine, thanks to my Goal Zero Power Pack. Pa power Pack, Power Station. Power Contraption. Okay, gonna cut the fabric. And then hopefully it just gets to sewing real quick. I should have had clips or something, but you know, it is what it is. Here we are outside sewing with no clips. Corners, I just like need a break to make sure everything's like fine. Oh, I got an ant on my foot pedal. Probably won't be the last time that happens. I don't know if I can sit on it. This thing is like 31.6 pounds if I remember correctly because I think I wanted to round it up to 32 so it's not super heavy but it is heavy and this opens up with where it keeps like the chargers. I don't know if you can even see this right now. I'll show you again if you can't but uh that's why I'm like, I don't know if I should sit on it because this is just like a door. I keep like the instructions and stuff in there. Hey, onward through the fog. I messed this up. <laughs> it's all good, let me fix it. Okay, undid some stitches. Now gonna redo the stitches. <laughs> 
in a better fashion. This power pack, when I started using it today to watch my YouTube video to set up this machine, is at like 98%, I believe. And now it's at 89. And I've been having it on for like a couple hours. So that's actually pretty cool. So here is the finished product of the window covers. Now the windows just look like they have a really dark tint. Let me take you around. 360, that's the back. And then over here we've got this side. I just, I messed this one up a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix it at some point. But for my first time using a sewing machine, I am pretty happy with it. All right, so the park that I am at is about to close in like 45 minutes. So I gotta pack up and get out of here, but take in that majestic view, yo. One more time, because that is awesome. So glad that I did window covers here and ran into no animals. That's what's up. They're all still out here, grazing away. And now they're like actually in the road. Excuse me, y'all. Oh, look at the babies. Um, I, I don't, I'm gonna wait for you to like do something because I don't know how to, yeah. Are you gonna just chill there? 